What's going on everybody? As of last week, we have over 200 subscribers and I think that's freaking awesome. I'm pretty stoked about that. I want to thank all of you who are subscribers and anybody watching this video that is not a subscriber, please do. I mean, come on, why wouldn't you? So several months ago we uploaded a video of the Arma Infraction and it got a lot of attention and with that attention we picked up a lot of subscribers and if you came in and subscribed off of that video then I thank you and I hope you enjoy the rest of our videos as well. When we made that video we were extremely pressed for time, you know it was given to us as a demo and we only had it for a few hours and I never really got to capture the footage I wanted to get with it. To be perfectly honest with you it was the first time we had ever taken a drifting car out and played with it at all. We also wanted to get it edited and uploaded as soon as possible because at that time most of the videos about it were unboxing and overviews and we wanted to show a video of it getting shredded. Basically a lot of smoke and the tires getting ripped from the wheels. But um, I was never quite happy with the video. I thought it looked amazing. I still think it looks amazing. It's one of my favorite videos I've done so far but I wanted it to look better. Since we've uploaded that video we've gotten a few more drift cars and I've come up with a better filming technique. You've actually been watching it there in the background while I've been doing this voiceover. So I'm going to stop rambling here for a few minutes and just let you enjoy this video. That right there is pretty much how I wanted the infraction video to look like originally, but because of the limited amount of time that we had it and the time to edit it, you know, it just never turned out like that. But I am happy to say that we have two infractions on the way and you're going to see it soon. So the two cars in this video have been the Kyosho Phaser MK2 Charger. Um, it's a freaking monster. It's actually really hard to drive with these plastic drift wheels. Uh, there's a Hobby Wing Max 10. 4,000 kV motor in there and um, it's just a beast. We can't even put 3S in it because the drive shafts explode, both the plastic and the aluminum. And the other one is the Viterra V100S, the uh, Chevy uh, C10. We ended up putting the Kyosho stock motor into it because I'm just not very thrilled with the Dynamite motor. I think it kind of sucks. But uh, it's an absolute beast uh, when it comes to the slide sideways action. It just drifts for days sideways, it's pretty cool. If you watched our other drifting video um, that we uploaded a little, little while ago with the Tamiya, that's actually been upgraded with a bunch of aluminum parts, you're going to be seeing that pretty soon. And we have another Viterra V100S, and it's another Chevy C10, but that one has a Hobby Wing Max 10 56kV motor I think, 5600, 
It, it, that thing is just absolutely stupid. Uh, we don't even know what to do with it beyond ridiculous. But the center drive shaft of it actually holds up, so we're able to run it. Hot Rod said it was too much Hot Rod, if uh, you can believe that. That's how ridiculous the thing is. But maybe we'll run, do some speed runs with it. You know, I really enjoy shooting these type of videos. Um, I just think they look amazing, and I'm happy that we got these, these cars. So, I'm going to shut up again and uh, for a few minutes and just enjoy the show. So if you were watching that and it seemed a bit familiar to you, that's because, you know, it is a bit Kevin Talbot-ish. Um, I've always loved his montages. Uh, I think he's an amazing editor, probably one of the best ones I've seen on YouTube. And I'm not necessarily trying to copy, but um, I definitely like that style. Basically his editing inspires me to become a better editor myself, and I've always been into photography, and his attention to detail um, just never ceases to amaze me sometimes. I don't see any smoke yet. Hammer down. So with my drifting videos, I'm definitely going to incorporate that style um, that's similar to his, but it's going to be my own flavor, so to speak. As for the music, um, you know, his favorite song there, Poison Rain, you know, it's an awesome song. And I remember coming across it and wanting to use it, and then I saw it in a video of his, so I purposely avoided it, and I started using Scarlet Woman instead. But then he started using Scarlet Woman, so um, I guess we just both have the same good taste in music. You know, the only reason that I know this is because we go to the same place for our music, and it's happened with other songs as well, so it is what it is. Getting ready to explode. It's not even hot, dude. Keep sending it. That's good for me. I want to save the tires a little bit. I got more of those in the house. What are you worried about? 
I just want to see me explode them. Yeah. So what you've been watching here going on is the Kyosho Charger. It never got run with its stock motor. Um, I immediately put in this Max 10 4000 kV motor ESC combo and Hot Rod didn't believe me when I said it would blow the tires off so he absolutely had to see it. Would not let me stop until the tires exploded. I mean obviously you can see it's in two wheel drive. Um, I removed the center drive shaft before Four, I put the 3S battery in. I knew it was going to explode if I didn't. So it actually hasn't been driven with the uh, plastic center drive shaft at all, ever. Um, at this time, I was waiting for the aluminum one. And once I got the aluminum one, I was so excited. And it did not last at all. As you're going to see here soon, it didn't even make it off the workbench on 3S. So if anybody watching this has any suggestions, um, I'm all ears. I want to see this thing in all-wheel drive in 3S, ripping some rubber off these wheels. I actually have another aluminum shaft on the way, and because I don't know if it was a defective drive shaft, to be honest. Um, just bench testing it in the car, it kind of looked out around, and that may have had something to do with what happened to it. I'm not really sure. Are they belted? <laughs> I doubt it. No, I'm kidding. I think that's got a little left in it. So the day that I got the shaft, Hot Rod immediately wanted updates, and yeah, it was just a complete disaster. Hopes and dreams just shattered in an instant. I just wish I actually had the camera rolling the moment it shattered. It literally happened in three seconds, not even full throttle. So I'm actually going to sign off here and let you enjoy the carnage and my updates to Hot Rod. Later. Scary. Well, that didn't go as planned. Noop, noop, noop. Maybe I can bend it back into place and run it on 2S only. I don't know. Starting to have Piper problems. Too much moda. Too much moda. No good. No bueno. Oh my god. Look at that. Just look at that. Holy fuck. Bitch. That's good shit. Do 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 Oh. That was the fastest blown fucking nine dollars I ever spent. I think it lasted about three seconds. I, I'm thoroughly impressed with the destruction of that. Holy fuck. Yay, Hobby Wang. Go, Hobby Wang. At least it was nice enough to give me reference marks to where I need to actually straighten it from. <laughs> the contact points. That's contact. Too much contact. As long as I hit it with the good old hickory engineer's hammer, then everything's okay, right? I think so. Oh, look at that. That is that is almost straight again. Oh, man. Ooh, look at that. Kind of almost new. I've been working on the railroad. Almost like it never happened. Almost. Getting there. Yeah, we're going to stick with 2S from now on. Hey, I just called about the Arma infractions. They're on back order. Do you know what they'll be in? Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs>